Hey there, fellow 5M enthusiasts! Welcome back to our journey of crafting and customizing your own 5M server. In our last video, we laid the foundation for our server using QB Core. If you missed that, be sure to check it out. The link is in the description below. Today, we're taking things up a notch. We'll be diving into three exciting topics that will elevate your server management skills. Admin permissions, car spawning, and the ins and outs of becoming an admin using text admin. But before we jump in, if you haven't already subscribed, now's the perfect time. Hit that subscribe button, and let's dive into the world of advanced server customization. I'm Brave, and this is Kubi Core Framework. Let's get started. By now, I hope everyone has either successfully know how to start their own server or, or just go to the 5M folder we created earlier. Inside, you'll find the key to kickstart your server. It's called Start Default. Your terminal will pop up, and voila, your server is up and running. Now, head to your browser and open localhost tsadmin. Check the console to ensure that everything is running perfectly. But what's a server without someone to manage it, right? Let's make someone an admin. Head back to the folder, open txdata, navigate to QB Core, and locate server tsfg, our server's script mother. Now, I'm going to add a different subclass for easy identification. Type hash people, and then I'll paste these lines. Check the comments section for the exact lines. Let me break it down a bit professionally, or at least attempt to. To add someone as admin, head back to txadmin select Players on the right side, and look for the player's name. This list includes players who have joined your server before, even if they're not currently online. Select the name, find the ID, and use their 5M ID to make them an admin. Copy it and replace the xtext section in the file. Now, a crucial step. Save the file. Use Control plus S or your preferred method. Ignore the player name. It's just for our comfort to understand whose ID it is. There are three different admin power levels here. The first is God level, giving you control over everything. The second is admin, restricting some controls. And the third is mod, with permissions to kick and teleport players. If this doesn't work, head back to the permissions section. Copy line 63, paste it on line 64, change the 5M ID, and save again. Now everything is set. Go back to TXAdmin, head to the dashboard, and restart the server. This step is crucial to ensure the changes take place in TXAdmin. Alright, we're on our way to a well-managed server. Let's dive back in and continue our journey. Now let's return to our play server, open 5M, and then access the localhost server. If it's your most recent connection, it should be conveniently listed for easy access. No need to fret. We're keeping things smooth and straightforward. Now that we're inside our play server, let's put our QB Core admin menu to the test. Remember, it's the default admin menu that comes with QB Core. Simply open the chat and type slash admin. Ta-da! There it is. In the admin menu, you'll find a plethora of features, from no clip and god mode to spawning weapons and more. Feel free to explore all the options yourself. I'll highlight some essential features. Under Players Management, you can perform various actions on players, revive them, teleport them, kick them out, or even grant permissions. Check their inventory and more. Next up, server management is where you can change the weather and time of the server. In the spirit of Christmas, let's add a festive touch with the snow effect. Now onto vehicle management. Here, you can spawn a vehicle, fix it, or give it an upgrade. As for developer options, we might not need it right now, but it'll come in handy in the future. It allows you to copy Vector 4 and Vector 3. I'll explain their usage in detail in a future video when we dive into working on different scripts. Alright, in addition to the default QB Core Admin menu, we also have another powerful tool called TXAdmin. To access it, follow the same steps as before, but type slash XAdmin instead. Personally, this is my go-to admin menu because, well, the no clip just looks way cooler than the QB Core menu. Let's explore its usage.
teleporting is a breeze, just like in the QB core menu. Mark your spot on the map, and off you go. Now, vehicle spawning is pretty slick too, especially if you know the name of the car you want. Alternatively, you can grab a few default cars, as demonstrated in the video. One feature I particularly love is the ability to send announcements to all players directly from the menu. No need to step out of the game. How cool is that? And if you ever want to reset the world area, it's like hitting the reset button, wiping out all the added stuff in the area. Which really reduced lag another nifty feature is the toggle player ID. Once toggled, you can see all the players' names and their IDs. Pretty beneficial for efficient server management. Now, if you press tab on your keyboard, it will take you to the next side section where you can see a list of all the players in the server. From here, you can take actions such as bringing them, teleporting, or even kicking them. Press tab again, and it will take you to the TX admin menu, just like in the browser. These shortcuts make server administration a seamless experience, ensuring smooth gameplay for everyone. To grant someone admin privileges in TS admin, it's a breeze. Head back to the TS admin browser, and on the left side, you'll spot the admin manager. There's a friendly green button labeled Add. Click on it, and a window will pop up for you to fill in the details. Use either the 5M ID or the Discord ID. Select the powers you want to bestow upon them. And ta-da! It's unbelievably easy with TX Admin. Remember, making someone an admin in TX Admin is a walk in the park. Just a few clicks, and you're good to go. But each menu, QB Core and TS Admin, has its strengths and nuances, making them both indispensable. So, dive into this feature for now, and in the next video, we'll unravel the vast array of commands used in QB Core. Brace yourself, there are almost 100 commands, and yes, they make our development journey a whole lot easier. So stay tuned, explore these features, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy server managing. I'm Brave, and this is QB Core Framework Server.